It's super important what it means to be transgender. Ready to learn? Let's take our imaginary friend Mike, for example. One day you notice that Mike starts wearing girl clothes instead of boy clothes. And then they tell you that they want to be called Michelle instead of Mike. This is so exciting for our friend Michelle because they finally get to be their true self. As you can see, transgender people are just like you and me. They're our friends. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Yes, you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yay! All right. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Oh boy, oh boy, man, just got in the car. I'm about to pick up my client and we got some breaking news. Yes, yes, I just heard on the radio that Mr. Biden, Mr. Joseph Biden is stepping down and it is July 21st. I've been calling this for the last three weeks now, but never mind all that. Let's take a listen and go to straight to, uh, let's see who we're going to do. Uh, let's do Fox News. This is just coming across on social media right now, breaking news. And we'll address the country later this week about next steps. He intends to fulfill the remainder of his term. Kristen, your reaction to this bombshell and news. And it's from him on. I was just told in my ear and that's what's breaking on the wires no, right now. I, I think. You know, I think it's an enormous opportunity for our party. And I always think it's really important to have two strong um, people on, in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party to have a strong debate. And, and let's figure out who's best to run this country. At the end of the day, we are all Americans and we want to move forward. I hope that my party, the Democratic Party, can use this time as an opportunity to have a debate and have somebody emerge as a candidate who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with former President Trump in a productive way so that everybody in this country has a decision to make. And they, they, they look at it and they can decide and they, you know, they want to know how they want to move forward. So we've heard 37 Democrats come forward calling on him to step aside. Mm -hmm. The money people have made it clear that they're done giving money to him as a candidate. Um, is it a surprise that he has reached this decision? No, I'm just wondering what's in it for him. You know, he's he's facing a, a lot of trouble. He needs to stay in office because of Hunter, uh, because of his own brother. So I'm just curious what what was the final breaking point that got him to agree to this? That's what I am most curious about at this point. And I take it you're not entirely surprised or, or maybe you are surprised. I'm not. I mean, like, if you talk to all my friends who are working on the campaign, this has been... This is not a conspiracy. Like, he has been thinking about, like, what's best for the country. This is a man who's served for so many years. He's not going to stay in office to help his son. Like, I mean, he's not weaponizing ju the judiciary. I mean, he's just not. Like, he's, he's, he's a man who's served this country, and he's been sitting with his wife and his closest advisors and people okay, that he trusts and really got working this through. I'm, I'm not making it up. I mean, he's been having to, conversations uh, with Nancy Pelosi. It goes on to accuse Kamala Harris of, quote, covering up uh, uh, Joe Biden's uh, 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 mental capacity, uh, saddling the nation uh, with a president who can't do the job. That's the statement. And the final line, and this is the, this is the reaction you're hearing uh, from Republicans across the board, and now you are hearing uh, from J.D. Vance, President Trump and I are ready to save America. Whoever's at the top of the Democratic ticket, bring it on. Uh, they, you know, make no mistake, Rachel, uh, the, the Trump campaign 
had been preparing to run against Joe Biden. They were hoping to run against Joe, Joe Biden. Uh, they were trying to uh, intimidate uh, Democrats from uh, uh, pushing forward with this effort to replace Joe Biden by saying there would be legal challenges uh, if, if there was an effort to, to make a change after the primaries. Uh, but they uh, are now pivoting to a race that they expect that they will now have against Kamala Harris. And John, we know that former President Donald Trump out of the campaign trail, while he has focused much of his attacks on President Joe Biden, he's also attacked uh, Vice President Kamala Harris as well. If she is, in fact, the Democratic nominee, how do we expect the Trump campaign to take on Harris? Well, they, they're going to make much of the fact that she was given responsibility uh, for dealing with the problem of, of uh, undocumented immigrants coming over the border. Now, she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans uh, labeled her. Uh, she was given the job of dealing with the, all the migration that was coming up from Central America. But they will portray her as the one that was all in right. charge of the border, from which, of course, the great is Van Jones. I'm going to quote Van Jones. So that's the A first bullet thing. Couldn't and take out they are Trump. Gonna make an issue, uh, but try COVID. to make an issue of the fact that uh, Harris had been at all Joe right, Biden's let's hear, side uh, uh, throughout the worst all of them of all. This. And they'll MSNBC. accuse her of, co of covering version. up uh, the decline. We have breaking news here. President Biden has announced he will stand down from the race. I'm going to read the statement here on my phone. We also have Tim Miller, who's going to be joining us shortly. Uh, over the past, my fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances. Passed the first, thank you so much, I'm just going to read off the paper here. Passed the first safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. All right, all right. I, I know that, none cut, of this cut, could cut. have been I done am, without you, the American to people. It. Together we... Really, Joe? Really? I mean, you could not find enough muster, enough strength in your body to get on the podium and say all this. You had to write a statement. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't believe for a second that Joe Biden wrote this. Nope. And tomorrow morning when he wakes up and find out hey, he's not president anymore, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, I told you guys that you cannot believe a word that this party says. He's been defiant and says he's standing in the race. So what is the plan? Is Joe Biden still in the race? Does he plan to stay in the race? And if so, what's the plan? Thanks so much for having me, Mika. And look, absolutely the president's in this race. You've heard him say that time and time again. And I think we saw on display last night exactly why, because Donald Trump is not going to offer anything new to the American people. He's the same person he was in 2020. He's the same person he was at the debate stage. He's the same person he is uh, that is about himself and not about the American people. And Joe Biden is more committed than ever to beat Donald Trump. And we believe on this campaign we are built for the close election that we are in and we see the path forward. The president is the leader of our campaign and of the country, and he is clearly, uh, in our impression and what we've built and in our engagement with voters, he's the best person to take on Donald Trump and prosecute that case and present his vision versus what we saw last mm -hmm. night. Everybody, Jean-Pierre said that he's standing in the race. Everybody been saying this. And then now, now here we go. He wrote a statement. Right, right. You guys, boy. Anything they say, you got to double check and verify because they're a bunch of liars. <sighs> now what I'm going to do, I ain't got no more memes. Ain't no me no more gas for another three or four months. Now we got Kamala. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, Lord. Save us. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And Joe Biden.
Get your ass off my lawn.